Good morning students. Today uh, we are doing a dissection of uh, the flower belonging to the family Liaceae and this flower is a lily flower. As you can see that uh, this flower is little bit different from the other flowers as it does not have any kind of sepals. It only have the colored petals but the real thing is that its sepals are actually converted into colored petals so in this kind of flower we will say that these petals and these sepals are combinedly known as perianth and now these will be not known as sepals and petals the unit of perianth will be known as tepals so we will call these leaf like structures as tepals so as we can see uh, how we can differentiate these sepals and petals in this flower structure uh, the outer the outer leaf of this flower see these are the outer leaf this one is also outer leaf and this one is also outer leaf as you can see there are three leaves in the middle and these three leaves are from the outside hole now we will do the dissection of this perianth or tepals firstly removing the tepals from the outer hole So, as we have dissected these parts, we can easily see that uh, the androsium or we can say the stamens are attached to the petals and also the sepals. I mean they are attached to the tepals. So, they are epitepalous. You can easily see they are attached here. They are attached to the tepals. We can also say that uh, the androsium is actually epiphyllus because it is connected to these tepals. We can detach these stamens from these tepals by the help of the needle like this. So we have separated our androsium from our tepals. So these were the outer hole and these were inner hole. Moving to the next part which is the gynosium. So this is the carpal of this lily flower. 
the flower is actually a tricarpillary structure means it has a three carpels but these three carpels are joined together they are fused together so the fused carpels condition in the flower is known as the syncarpus condition and now we are going to dissect the ovary from this pedicel so after the dissection we can see these three distinct ovaries out of these three ovaries i have opened a single ovary here and inside that ovary we can see the small ovules these are the ovules you can see that inside the ovary i have opened the one of these three ovaries and here you can see that these small ovules here so this is the dissection of the lily flower which belongs to the family liliaceae so in the conclusion of this dissection uh, we have observed that uh, this flower contains a perianth which is a combination of sepals and petals and uh, this perianth is actually have six lobes this is arranged in 3 plus 3 manner that means the three from outside and three on the inside this flower is uh, gamophilous and uh, it has a imbricate kind of estivation moving to the androecium this uh, androecium has six stamens 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 stamens which are also arranged in two holes three on the outer perianth and three on the inner perianth so as we have already studied that these stamens are epiphyllous stamens are also separated from each other that means they do not form a single group that's why these stamens are also in polyandrous condition the anther and the filament the filament it is attached on the dorsal side of this anther that's why we also can say that this stamen is dorsi fixed moving to the gynoecium as we have already told that there's a the gynoecium contains three carpels it so it has three ovaries which are fused together so the fused ovaries is actually this is tricarpillary and this is syncarpus the ovary is actually superior because the floral holes are coming from beneath the ovary so the ovary is superior Uh, look at the stigma of this flower the stigma is so small so it has a stom uh, smaller stigma this have three locules in it and the placenta as i have shown you that uh, these ovules are connected to the axis uh, let me clear this these ovules are connected to the axis of this ovary so the placentation is axile so this is it from the dissection of our lily flower on the basis of this description and this observation we can also write its um, floral diagram and uh, also its floral formula so uh, this will be the floral formula of our uh, flower as it is actinomorphic it is a bisexual because it contains both male and female sexual organs 
it has perianth so it is denoted by the p this is in 3 plus 3 manner it has androsium which is epiphyllus the androsium are also 3 plus 3 stamens it also contain these stamens and the gynosium the ovary is superior and it has three fused carpels this will be the floral diagram of our flower as it has a perianth which is which has the three tepals from outside and three tepals from inside it has six stamens it has a syncarpus and one two three tricarpillary gynosium every gynosium has a distinct number of ovules so thank you for now have a good day everyone